Avi Loeb just released new data of a 33 billion ton weighted interstellar object 3i Atlas is now turning blue. Not just a little blue, bluer than the sun itself. We already had eight completely bizarre anomalies about this object that didn't make sense. Now this blue color signal is joining the list of things that should not be happening. Here's why this matters. Cold objects in space make light redder when sunlight bounces off them. That's basic physics. Dust scatters light, shifts it toward red wavelengths. But 3i Atlas is doing the exact opposite, getting bluer as it approaches the sun, which makes absolutely no sense if this is just a regular chunk of ice and rock reflecting sunlight. So, what could possibly explain this? The answer starts with color temperature. And if you believe discovery begins where people think its certainty ends, hit subscribe. That's where our universe gets interesting, because this mystery is just beginning. The blue color thing might sound confusing because we see the sun as yellow in the sky, but the sun is actually white. When scientists talk about something being bluer than the sun, they're talking about color temperature. Blue light is more energetic than yellow or red light. When something is bluer, it means it's giving off more energetic, hotter light. For something to be bluer than the sun means it's either hotter than the sun's surface or something weird is going on with the physics. Here's how this normally works. When you have an object in space and sunlight hits it, the light bounces off and comes back to us. The surface of 3i Atlas should be way colder than the sun. The sun burns at about 5,800 degrees Celsius on its surface. This object from interstellar space should be orders of magnitude colder than that. And here's the thing about cold objects in space. When light bounces off them, especially if there's dust around, that light should look redder than the original sunlight. That's just how physics works. Cold things with dust around them make light more red, not more blue. But 3i Atlas is doing the exact opposite. The best theory scientists have right now is that this is not just reflected light anymore. Something is happening where the object is actively emitting light on its own. There's gas shooting out, and that gas is glowing bright enough and hot enough to make the whole thing look blue. But that raises an even bigger question. What's making the gas glow that hot? What kind of energy source could be producing temperatures higher than just the sun's heat hitting a cold rock? Comment down below what's your thoughts on that. Loeb is asking whether there could be some kind of power source on or inside this object that's running hotter than the sun's surface. And before you think that sounds crazy, remember we're already at nine anomalies here. This thing has been weird from day one. The brightening is just as strange. Scientists are measuring how fast 3i Atlas is getting brighter as it approaches the sun. They're finding that the brightness is scaling with distance to a power of negative 7.5. What does that mean in normal language? It means the brightening rate is insane. Between September and October, it increased roughly as the 7, 5th power of its decreasing distance from the Sun, twice as fast as it brightened earlier this year. They looked at other comets from the Oort cloud at similar distances, and those comets are brightening much more slowly. The scientists writing about this are flat out saying they don't know why 3i Atlas is brightening so fast. The reason for 3 eyes rapid brightening, which far exceeds the brightening rate of most Oort cloud comets, remains unclear, wrote Qicheng Zhang of Lowell Observatory and Carl Battams of the U.S. Naval Research Laboratory in a recent preprint. When scientists say the reason is unclear, that means something really weird is going on, and the timing of all this is almost too perfect. Right now from Earth, we cannot see 3 eye Atlas at all because it's hiding directly behind the sun. Solar conjunction happened on October 21st, just eight days before it reached its closest point to the Sun perihelion. Earth-based telescopes are completely blocked, but we've got multiple space telescopes positioned in different spots around the solar system, and they're getting perfect views of this whole show. Stereo A is watching it. That's a satellite we launched back in 2006. Soho is watching it, and that thing has been up there since 1995. GOES-19, which is actually a weather satellite we just put up last year, is watching it. And then there are these brand new punch satellites giving us images with very specific wavelength filters so scientists can see exactly what colors of light are coming off this thing. All of these instruments are watching 3i Atlas in real time as it's brightening and changing color. And one of them, an instrument called CCOR1, is showing something else that's blowing people's minds. 
there's a glow around 3i Atlas that's extending out 300,000 kilometers. Let that sink in for a second. 300,000 kilometers. That's absolutely enormous. NOAA's CCOR-1 instrument captured a fuzzy cloud, or coma, around the comet about four arc minutes wide. A while back, another telescope spotted a carbon dioxide plume around this object that was similar in size. So whatever is happening with 3i Atlas, it's happening on a truly massive scale. SOHO added color data, revealing that the comet appears distinctly bluer than the sun, a sign that glowing gas, not dust, dominates its brightness. Most comets look reddish because sunlight reflects off dust. But 3i Atlas is blue, indicating that gases like carbon compounds are lighting up its coma. Harvard astrophysicist Avi Loeb called the color very surprising and added that it is now the ninth anomaly observed in this interstellar visitor. Loeb is pointing out something Dota 5 that's making people uncomfortable. The geometry of all this is almost too perfect. The fact that 3i Atlas positioned itself exactly where space telescopes can see it, but Earth telescopes cannot write at the moment of perihelion when the most interesting stuff would be happening. That's what he calls a possible hint of design. The energy levels here are insane. At perihelion, 3i Atlas is getting hammered with at least 770 watts of solar energy for every single square meter of its surface. The total solar power hitting this thing is at least 33 gigawatts. To put that in perspective, that's at least a third of all the power coming from all 94 commercial nuclear reactors running in the United States right now. And all that energy is hitting an object that's spinning once every 16 hours. That much energy is doing something. Between July and October, scientists estimate it lost about 2 million tons of material. Now, 2 million tons sounds like a massive amount, right? But compared to its total estimated mass of at least 33 billion tons, it's actually losing less than 0.00005% of itself. So it's not breaking apart or crumbling. At least not yet. The big question is, what is all that heat and energy doing to the object? If this is a natural comet, you would expect all that solar heating to break it apart and create this huge bright cloud of gas and dust. That would be normal. That would explain the brightening. But would it explain the blue color? Would it explain the perfect positioning? Would it explain the ninth anomaly? Scientists suggest that sudden outgassing of water or other volatiles could be behind the surge. But that doesn't explain why the gas is glowing hotter than it should. 3i Atlas is unusual in other ways. It displayed an anti-tail in mid-2025, a jet directed toward the sun instead of away from it. Natural comets don't do that. Solar radiation pressure pushes tails away from the sun. That's fundamental physics. Its nucleus is far more massive than previous interstellar comets. It travels faster than both 1i, Oumuamua, and 2i, Borisov. Its gas contains far more nickel than iron, with a nickel to cyanide ratio higher than any comet studied before. To put the scale in perspective, Loeb points out that Starship, which is the biggest rocket we've ever built, is 100 times smaller than 3i Atlas. If this thing is artificial, it's absolutely massive by any human standard. This is only the third interstellar comet scientists have observed. Its extreme brightening, unusual composition, and intense gas activity offer a rare glimpse into materials and behaviors from outside our solar system. After perihelion, 3i Atlas will swing back around and become visible from Earth again first at twilight, then brighter each evening. But the real moment comes in December. On December 19th, the comet makes its closest approach about 269 million kilometers away. That's distant, but close enough for the world's most powerful eyes to lock on. Hubble will be watching. James Webb will be watching and ground observatories across the globe are preparing spectroscopic scans, splitting its light into every wavelength to reveal its chemistry, its structure, and maybe its secrets. Those readings could finally tell us what this object really is and why it keeps defying physics. Meanwhile, high-rise images from October 2nd remain sealed during the government shutdown, but officials say they may be released soon. If they are, we could see fine structural details never captured before, and if 3i Atlas is not just another frozen rock, if it's something engineered, then perihelion would be the moment to act. This is when you'd change course, perform an Oberth maneuver, or use the sun's gravity for a high-efficiency slingshot. 
It's the perfect window to release probes, radiate excess heat, or even send out signals. If anyone or anything designed it, this would be when it pass, shows us. The ninth anomaly is now confirmed, and the countdown to December has begun. Its strange, brightening, volatile gases and impossible color shift are giving us a direct glimpse of matter from beyond our solar system, a preview of physics we don't yet understand. The blue hue is the newest clue in a puzzle that refuses to fit natural comet models. The instruments don't speculate, the data doesn't exaggerate. And in just six weeks, we'll finally see which version of this story the universe intends to tell. So, what if this blue glow is trying to tell us something we don't yet understand? Share your thoughts below and remember to like, share, and subscribe for more cosmic mysteries.